Welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is going to be the second um, instructional video and, and I know it's going to be a little boring and, and I apologize for that but I, I think it's very important because you know if, if you're doing some of these things you, you actually want to be able to save some of the settings that you have. So you know if you create a user program you know, you're not just going to create one. You may want to create different ones. If you're trying to do, um, you know, a show for your family, uh, you know, you might want one thing. Then for different songs, you might want something else. So you might want a, a number of different user programs that, that to, to be saved, along with some other things uh, that you, you may want to save or that you may want to do. For example, uh, you can actually download from Roland um, expansion sounds, um, which I highly recommend doing, but again, I'll probably do that a, a, on a separate video, um, how to download those and install those into your, your computer. Uh, you know what? It, it, it's great. You know, it gives you extra sounds. But bottom line, how do we get that from, say, the internet into your accordion? Or how do we save things from your accordion to where they're safe? Okay, the answer is real simple. Okay, and you're going to see a lineup right here. I'm going to put it right up here. Okay, this is kind of like the top whatever. Actually, no, it's not. It's nothing. It's just a picture, okay, of one of these guys, a USB. And I have seen videos where they're like, okay, you know, and, and in the in the manual, in the Roland manual, it says, oh, you must have, you know, a certain type because not every type's going to work. Well, that's true. But it all has to do with how they are formatted. Formatting actually is a way of putting on one of these guys or one of these a road map that tells the computer how to read it where are things stored okay and there are different types okay for example you can format something in a format called NTFS that is great for storing large files but we're not storing large files. If you try to put an NTFS formatted flash drive into your Roland, it will not read it. It will not read it. Okay? So when you go and you get one and you put it in your computer to format it, you'll see you could come up with the NTFS, which should be like right here. Okay? that's not going to work. Mistake. Don't do that. Okay. Um, when you, there's a pull down menu, which I, I should put up and it's, it's up here now. And you'll see that you have like four choices. What you want is FAT32. And before you get all upset, thinking I'm calling your flash drive FAT, FAT is an acronym. Computer people use acronyms all the time. It actually stands for File Allocation Table. That's what FAT stands for. File Allocation Table. And that's simply a way for the computer to know where to find things on here. So really, doesn't matter what kind of flash drive you have. Um, I have tried everything from a 2 gig up to 128 gig and I have yet to have one not work um, on my Roland. Now I would suggest, I, I, you know what, I don't even know if you can buy anything any smaller than an 8 gig flash drive anymore. So you know use an 8 gig. You're not going to have anywhere near enough information to fill it up but they're cheap. I think they're like four bucks. You know, go to Walmart. You can pick them up pretty cheap. Okay. 
Um, but anyway, a, a flash drive, any type of flash drive will work. You could have this type, uh, you could buy this type. This one's really, really old, but it's, that's all it is. Um, but anyway, uh, you'll see now what it should be formatted to. Should be FAT32. That's the default format uh, for a Windows computer. So anyway, once you have that, then you'll be able to store information from the internet and then copy it onto your um, Roland. You can save information from your Roland because after you do a user um, program, you're going to want to save it just in case. You never know when you're going to have to reset your Roland back to factory specs. Okay, it does happen. Okay, so anyway, sorry this got a little longer than I wanted, but this is all about USBs and formatting them correctly to work with your Roland. All right. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Take care.